have such a great time when we do these children's concerts, especially here at the Broward Center. It's such a joy to see the children connect with the music, with the instruments, with the individual musicians. The symphony is so excited that this program that we're doing for the children is not just about the symphony orchestra, but also about the coral reef and teaching the children not only about the music, but the importance of, of keeping the reef healthy. It's been such a pleasure working with Donna Wissinger. She is an inspiration. She writes the programs. She gets the music commissioned. She puts all the costumes together. She goes to the schools and meets with the children and the teachers and teaches them before they come to the concerts. So by the time they get here to us, there is a connection already. This is a children's educational concert and we are playing pieces. Um, the first piece demonstrates our instruments and the sections of the orchestra, and the second piece is a piece called the Coral Reef, and it demonstrates the animals and what is going on with the coral reefs in this part of the world. This program was about teams, and each member of the team, whether it's the coral reef or the symphony, is essential. Without any one of them, we are not whole. The reef is not whole, the symphony is not whole. We want the children to feel that. The message was that they can find their place in life, whether it's in a symphony orchestra, or as a scientist, or a technologist, an engineer, or in mathematics or arts, to find their place, find what they love, and then love it and give it their all. Well, the symphony asked me to do a program on coral reefs. I knew nothing, so I learned everything I could. I went to experts, and I wrote a story about a woman who was a real pioneer, Eugenie Clark. I wrote the narration because her story can inspire. And then I asked a good friend of mine, a fabulous composer, to write the music to my narration. And a good friend of mine, Susan Ainley, did all the props for me. She brought the animals alive so the children have a connection to them and want to do something about it. Joy and I work together as Arts Out Loud. She's an incredible um, teaching artist. She gets the children very inspired. She's also a great pianist. So we work together. She helps me with the narration and the timing, and she plays the piano to help fill out the sounds of the orchestra. Well, I would love this program to be toured to as many children as we can. It has a message not only about environment and preserving the reefs, which are dying, but it's a message to them about the possibilities of who they might be.